Hey friends, it's Susan from Legs Like Mine. So today is an exciting day. Um, it is photo, tie, uh, photo setup day for the shoes. So I have the second prototype of the Legs Like Mine loafer has come in. It's been tested by um, everybody that basically wears a the same size, right? Because when you do footwear, you... Um, you make a prototype in like a really standard size, which would be like a like a US size eight. So anyway, this is pretty close to what the final product is gonna look like. What we learned on the second round of prototyping was that this back um, heel stay is still too tall because ladies who have like ankle cuffing or just bigger ankles in general felt like it was rubbing. So we're gonna drop that 10 centimeters and here, I'll tell you, a lot of us, um, those of us from the States don't um, really know what 10 centimeters looks like. So hold on a second. It is about that much. Let's just see if I can get it there. We're going to drop it about that much. So almost the depth of this um, top line padding, it's all going to go down 10 centimeters. And th some of the ladies... Um, really appreciated this larger loop that we've put in the back because um, it's you know they have mobility problems and have trouble reaching down to put their shoes on or whatever so we are keeping this larger loop and it's just obviously going to be lowered down but this, look at the sole the sole is going to be um, have a nice tread on it and then um, very stable and supportive and then we're working on the design for future iterations where we can change out this um you know top adornment thing so you could put like pearls or rhinestones or a ribbon i tried it with the ribbon it was super cute <laughs> um, but this piece would be removable right now the manufacturer's got it attached with a jump ring that has to be removed um you know, like with pliers or whatever, and believe me, I've been doing it. Um, but anyway, so really super stable shoe. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, let's see if I can get my hand in there and show you, it's got a deep V cut in the top of it. So if your foot is a little larger or swollen or whatever, that makes it adaptable. And then the adornment is actually sitting on top of a piece of elastic. So um, when we, I think the final look, when we start learning more, we may end up adding elastic to this piece right here to make the shoe even more adaptable. But so that's one thing. Um, the other thing is, is they've got, they come with this extra set of inserts. So they come with one, right? But a thicker insert, because this is like, um, I'm going to call it like a double depth shoe for people who have ample volume in their feet like me. And you may have, like me, one foot that's deeper than the other. So you have extra pieces that you can put in there or remove to give yourself more room or to, to make it a little bit of a more snug fit. So this has been a good feature. And um, my mom tried these on. She happens to be the same size as our fit models over in the UK. And she took the inserts out and she was, that's whenever, <clears throat> excuse me, we both got a little teary eyed because the shoe actually fit her for the first time. And um, basically the, the only real feedback we got was from folks was that they wanted this back piece a little bit lower. I am going to be looking if, for people who don't have a shoehorn for a long shoehorn like this, but it can't be um, plastic. It needs to be a little bit stronger for those of us because we might really have to get in there, right, to get our shoes on. So um, that's something that we'll have on the site, hopefully for like pennies, <laughs> I don't know, cheap or whatever. Um, anyway, so today I have been, I got this little light box for Christmas. It was one of my photography studio things that my father-in-law's been buying me piece by piece for holidays and birthdays and stuff like that. And I actually was able to take a footwear photography course um, from my shoe consultant, um, Susanna Davda, who, which is really interesting. So she's a professional like shoe consultant. She worked for big, big, big names like um, Doc Martens and, um, you know, other ones. So I didn't even know this. It's so weird because um, you shop. I mean, we all shop on Zappos or Amazon or whatever for shoes. And I never even thought about it. Like shoes are always photographed at certain angles and stuff. Like there's always a 45 degree and a front and a back. I mean, it makes common sense. But when you go to Zappos and you look and you're like scrolling or whatever, it's like every shoe is 
photographed exactly the same way with the same lighting and everything. So I took her course and then I have this little cheat sheet that's sitting over here on my desk that's basically like, you know, head on, top down, 45 degrees, whatever. Um, and I was just like, how could I not have ever noticed that? I don't know. But anyway, so all I have in hand right now is the second prototype. And we have gone back to the manufacturer to make that final change. And we put in the order, like the real order for the first um, 200 pairs. What I expect to have happen is um, I think the first 200 people will who get them, who are lucky enough to get them, will hopefully give me feedback not in the form of like a negative review, but like, Hey, here's some feedback, like, you know, something rubbed or this felt great or this, you know, this, wow, I can't believe the stability of the shoe or, you know, I love the red cause it's coming in red too, for this first 200 pairs, um, or, or feedback on how this adornment worked for them with their particular foot and swelling and stuff like that. Right. So anyway, the first 200 people will get them. And then I, what I want to do is um, making the final tweaks that we have to. I think we're probably good on the loafer because we've done so many fit tests and worked on the mold, which is the last, it's called the last, and it's what the shape and size of the foot is that's unique to Lipedema ladies. We worked on that for so long and got so many measurements and stuff that I think we're probably good. Um, then we'll probably start taking these um, orders in advance so I'm not having to like, have a bunch of stock on hand and that's bad for the environment and all that stuff right and it'll be like a lot of new shoe companies are doing where you order a pair of shoes and then I put in basically exactly the order that we need so that again I don't have a, a bunch of stock but that means it's like a three-month waiting period to get the shoes made and shipped over in batches right but anyway, once the loafers go out, then immediately we're going to start prototyping the calf boot, which is now we have more confidence in because the calf boot's going to be using the same sole unit, the same concept as like the inserts and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and the same, like everything that's, that it's based on. So it'll be the same kind of shape from the top and everything. And it then will add in the adaptive features for a, a calf that's, um, you know, a, a brown or a black calf boot. So I'm super excited about that. The design's ready. The pro, It's called a tech pack. The tech pack is ready. It's like the, the directions or the blueprint for how to make the shoe. The designers had that for a while, but we needed to build everything on the line off of the shape of our foot. So, um, yeah, it's finally happening. I may do a, I don't think I'm going to do a Kickstarter, but I'm probably going to do like a GoFundMe um, to help me pay for the first round of inventory because obviously it's a big investment to just get the inventory in hand and um, oh my gosh, I've spent so much money <laughs> uh, with the research and development of the shoe, but I think it was worth it. And I think it will, um, contribute to the lipedema community. And then, um, I can see this shoe. I, I've been telling you guys for a long time that this is like the foundation of a whole line of footwear that's going to be available for us. So eventually this is going to come in zebra or zebra. If you're in um, more of a British speaking area, red is coming Purple is coming um, in the in the future rounds. Um, maybe in the springtime we'll do these shoes in fun colors like lime and whatever the pot, coral, whatever popular color it is for the season. And then um, we'll also in a future line we're gonna make this in a backless version, kind of like um, like a croc would be. But of course, and we might put a strap on the back that's that you can velcro close so it really fits your foot the right way instead of flopping around like a croc would too. So, and for more of a summer style. And then we can also take this same um, shape and turn it into a sandal or whatever to make it like more season appropriate, right? But we wanted to start with this one because this is gonna be the one that everybody has a pair of black in their in their wardrobe that you could even, like I said, you could dress this up to wear with um, a dress or, you know, work slacks or whatever, but jeans and stuff like that too. So. Um, 
anyway, that's where we are. The, I'm going to show you guys the sample photographs. Just know that this isn't the final photography session, but I had to get everything like all set up and everything so that I know the lighting, the angles I'm going to do, and that I actually have the right equipment. And that because I'm doing all the photography on my iPhone, um, that one of the newer iPhones that's got like the high capacity to like make really, really good pictures to make sure that that's good enough quality to put on the internet and stuff. So I thought you'd enjoy the update and there you go. All right. So it's happening. We're really, really close y'all. Thank you for supporting me. And I will be sure and let you know when the GoFundMe is up and it may be as soon as today because, um, wow, is it expensive? I mean, the are the original R and D, I still think that we're in the 225, 227 US range for a pair of loafers. And I, the way that we've designed them, I'm hoping and believe that the construction is of such a quality that they'll last at least a year. So the investment will be well worth it to finally have shoes that feel good on our feet. Anyway, all right, I will talk to you later. Thank you. See you later. Bye.